Gurkha vehicle sighted moving towards your location. The team from the Royal Gurkha Rifles are told that two enemy vehicles are heading for their position in this live firing exercise at the Binturum range in Brunei. This platoon are using their MMGs, medium machine guns, with live ammo, but reinforcements are on their way in a helicopter, tasked with destroying the enemy armoured vehicles. Four men are poised on the skids, ready to abseil down through the downdraft. After throwing down ropes, they descend, bringing with them javelin anti-tank guided weapons, which can be operated on the shoulder, mounted on trucks, or set up on the ground. The MMG platoon provides extra cover while the heli team sets up the javelins. They wait for the electronic sight, which uses thermal imaging, to lock onto the target. It's ready to fire in under 30 seconds and they easily hit their target. Three, seven, seven, say again, grid. Two, six, five, three, seven, seven. Destroy target, over. The exercise was made as realistic as possible with some Oscar-worthy acting as instructions were relayed. A team made their way up the hillside towards the enemy positions, getting closer, then appearing as if from nowhere from behind a grassy knoll. As all Gurkha soldiers are recruited in Nepal, brought up mostly in the foothills of the Himalayas, they're ideally suited to this light infantry role and jungle environments, where endurance and ingenuity are prized. Officers are gathered from across the UK and the Commonwealth and must all speak Nepali. The exercise was watched from a safe distance on a nearby hillside by a group of invited guests and one of the aims was to strengthen the good working relationship with the RBAF, the Royal Brunei Armed Forces, and to demonstrate light infantry weapons capability. The UK has had a contingent of Gherkins in Brunei since 1962 and there are currently some 2,000 British military personnel based in the Sultanate. This was a useful way to update soldiers and officers on the use and effectiveness of these weapons systems. Sarah Lockett, Forces News.